fall away from Tennessee, where men are men, women are women, and the sheep are scared, Mr. Thunder Walrus. Thank you, Darren Walton. Sheep are a little less nervous now that I'm up here in Baltimore with you. They'll get nervous when I get back home. Is my representative from Rolling Thunder here? If you are, make your way up to the stage, sir, please. Walt gave you a great rundown on all the stuff going on here. Be sure you check out Leo's Vacation Center there. He's got all the RVs and our friends. That good stuff candy, that VIB card, it'll get you a dollar off any order over five bucks at Good Stuff Delectables and Eatery. It's right up the aisle here from the Delmarva's Fast Lane Biker stage here in the South Hall. Grab that microphone for me there, sir. Pull it up out of the holster and turn the switch on. And Mike, how are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Good. Thanks for joining me. Have a seat here, my friend. Now, you are the third representative this weekend that we've talked to from Rolling Thunder. You guys do a great deal of work for our armed for services, men and women, and we appreciate that. Your ride has become legendary. It is one of the most heavily attended rides in the country, and that ride trickles down throughout the year. That's your coup de grace for the uh, annual bike season, isn't it? That's our main event. Uh, we have anywhere in the average of 400,000 to 600,000 bikes participate in the ride itself. Now that's not counting how many other bikes that, are, that actually come out to just participate in the other activities that we have down on the, on the mall in D.C. Yeah, even if you don't participate in the ride, you can attend the, the culmination of the event at the mall in Washington, D.C. There's a great deal that attend the ride, but there's just as many that just show up to be a part of the ceremony at the end of the ride. How long has Rolling Thunder been going on? This is uh, number 20, 27, no? You sure? 27? I'm in the national 27. 27. Nationally, it's the 27th anniversary of it. Yeah, yeah. Come on up. There's another microphone. Come on up here. You part of the Rolling Thunder organization? We'd love to talk to you, too. There's a microphone just to the left of that chair. Pick it up and turn the switch on. There's a lot of other things. There's a lot of fun stuff you guys do, too. You, you work hard to raise money. And there's a microphone right to your left, sir. Your left. Your other left. There you go. I get confused with my left and right, too. My wife has to put L's and R's on my shoe to make sure I put them on the right or correct feet. I'm going to give a quick shout out to the mayor of motorcycles, Mr. J.B. Bratcher, standing out front there. Don't shake your head at me, big boy. I see you standing there. We'll talk to him in a little bit. He's also a big supporter of Rolling Thunder and a great guy to be a, a hang around with. But, uh, Mike, what other fun events? This is, happens Memorial Day weekend, right? I think it's May 30th is your ride, and you've got a fabulous motorcycle up there that you're going to raffle off the day after that ride. It's a 2015, correct? correct. It's a 2015 Harley-Davidson Ultra Classic Limited. You couldn't... <laughs> $10 wouldn't even get you in the front door of a Harley dealership to buy a 2015 Ultra Classic, and you can take a chance to win it here today. It's going to be raffled off May 30th, I believe, or something. Now, the ride's May 30th, right? Actually, uh, the ride itself is on uh, on Sunday. Yeah. Sunday, okay. And then the bike will be raffled off the day after? I, I believe so. No, no, on Tuesday. Tuesday? Tuesday, following the 26th of May at 2 o'clock, they'll draw the ticket at the... Uh, Harley Davidson of Washington, D.C., which is in Fort Washington, Maryland. Uh, we tell folks you do not have to be present to win. Make sure you have a good phone number on there, and if you want to, you can also include your, uh, your address. Yes, that is important. You do not have to be present to win. They will contact you, and for $10, you can get a chance to win a 2015 Ultra Classic Harley Davidson and support a great, great cause. Gentlemen, I want you to know we appreciate your service first and foremost, and as I mentioned to the gentleman I was interviewing yesterday, 
it does kind of sadden me a little bit to see that regular citizens like myself don't do more to support the events. You veterans go over, put on a uniform, and pick up a weapon and defend our freedom and watch each other's back. And then when you come home stateside, whether you are discharged or retire, you guys collectively stay together. Whether you're Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, or Coast Guard, you guys always continue to look out for each other and support each other. And I commend you for that. It's a, it's a great cause and a great thing that you guys do. Give them a big round of applause. Uh, not only is Rolling Thunder fun, but it's very important to our men and service women of our armed forces. One thing I'd like to say about Rolling Thunder, you do not have to do two things. You don't have to be in the military or retired military or whatever. And you don't have to ride a motorcycle. You just have to have a desire to want to help people. This is what we do. We are very active in our community. We work with the Walter Reed National Medical Facility. We help out with the Wounded Warrior Program and their PTSD program. We work with the DC Vets and also with Charlotte Hall Veterans Home. That's correct. Uh, in addition, uh, we go down to uh, Lions VA for the PTSD community and also uh, the nursing home down in Lions and we give them a hot and cold buffet every Thursday. Uh, we give them a little uh, snacks uh, for the rooms, chips, candy throughout the week. And uh, we support the M MIAs and POWs that haven't been found. That is our main purpose, to f make Congress, Senators, and House of Representatives don't forget what we left behind in all wars. It's very true, it's very true. The, the, those guys fly those POW, MIA patches and flags very proudly. You don't know what, it, I can't imagine what it's like for you guys and the motivation to know that you went, you served, and you came home, but to know that you left brothers and comrades behind and our Congress, our Senate, and our government that sent you men and women over there seem to be need to be reminded and we appreciate your efforts we appreciate all you do you want to support rolling thunder you don't have to be a member of the military services and you do not have to ride a motorcycle your money always goes to help those who desperately need it whether you're a biker or a veteran or not you can still help how can they find you guys on the web there's so much to do social media and Facebook do you guys have a web page or any kind of social media outlets well, like everybody else, we do have web pages. For our local chapter, it's Rolling Thunder, Maryland 1. And then you have Rolling Thunder National. It's at Manville, New Jersey. Right. And that's run by uh, Sergeant Artie Moe and Gary. And uh, Sergeant Artie Moe was one of the founders. Uh, Ray Mandel, I think was his name. We lost him a couple of years ago. Yeah. God rest, it, God rest his soul, and we appreciate it. May, may also add, our main purpose down there uh, is our, uh, our, chat, our, our drive. We sell pins, bandanas, flags, and literature. And I'll be down at the Lincoln Memorial. My name is Fast Eddie. We all have tag names. I'm sure Mike does, too. It just so buy a cheap. patch and buy a pin that support our, our organization. It's fire. Do what you can to support Rolling Thunder. Mike, and sir, I didn't get your name. I just brought you out of the crowd. My name's uh, Eddie O'Neill. I'm from Westchester County in Yonkers, New York. I came down four hours ago. Now, see, that sounds like a good Irish accent to me. I would have never guessed you were from Yonkers, New York. Well, it, it's Harbors on the Bronx line. There you go. Okay. I, I'm not, my dialect isn't that distinct. I just, it sounded like a very good New York accent. And I'm in the DAV in the Bronx chapter, chapter 20, 23, at, the, at James A. Peters Medical Center. Can they get to the national page from the, the Rolling Thunder Maryland one page? Is there a link to the national page there? That I'm not 100% sure of, but if you just put Rolling Thunder National in... You'll find everything you need. Everything. Click the link that best suits you. Sign up, become a member, and help in any way you can. Once again, gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for your time. And Eddie, you got something else you'd like to say, sir? And may I add also, in closing, we... We always invite the ladies. They're a very vital part of our organization. And we have junior members in our organization, the National, making little trinkets 
to support uh, our wreaths down at, uh, uh, on Christmas. We lay out over 1,300 wreaths uh, in December. And where do you load those, lay those wreaths at? At the National Cemetery? At, no, at Somerset uh, Cemetery. Somerset Cemetery? Uh, in Somerville, I believe. In Somerville, very good. Somerville, New Jersey? Excellent. Go to Rolling Thunder National, search it like everybody else does on Google. You'll find it. Help out and support Rolling Thunder. It's a great organization. They do great things, and you need to be a part of it. So sign up and help today. Yeah, I just want to add one thing. Uh, we got to do our little brag on. We were the number one chapter in the nation for motorcycle ticket sales. We sold 2,000 tickets last year. So our goal this year, of course, is going to be a little bit higher because we have a competition with uh, Virginia 3, who used to dominate, but we took it away from them. So any help that you guys would want to come by and take a look at the bike and buy your tickets now, we would appreciate it. Let's help keep Chapter 1 of Rolling Thunder here in Maryland at number one in ticket sales, and that will help a great, great cause. Gentlemen, thank you so much, not only for your service, but for your efforts in taking care of our veterans and keeping everybody mindful of the POWs and MIAs still missing. Coming up shortly, it's the Fast Lane Biker Delmarva Magazine Fashion Show. We're going to restructure the stage just a little bit. DJ, give me a little music and we'll be 